log into Azure portal and point to App Services navigation and then you can look at from the deployment center you have different options this is where you can actually use different type of tools like if for continuous deployment you can use Azure repos or github or uh, bitbucket local git or if you're trying for the manual deployment like in our case we are trying to do the manual deployment so we can use the FTP and Dropbox or OneDrive or external public gates so in our case if I try to browse current web page it looks like this now assume that this is the web page that is actually developed by your developers think in that way in fact this is the default page uh, when you create a web page you are getting in this kind of uh, web page with the microsoft azure web application but think that for now this is the web page was developed by your developers now your developer wants to push to the next version of the web page so which you have here within the slot one we have another web page which looks like this like deployment slot one a simple web page that i wanted to upload this web page and see uh, i wanted to roll back to deployment uh, stage one slot one slot two something like that so that i can show you the advantages of this web page so all i can do is simply uh, go to this web page and deployment center and this is where i can choose my ftp and here are the connections uh, you can simply click on the ftp and click on dashboard this gives the information of your ftp url here so you can use this ftp url and user id and password to connect with any of the FTP client in my case I'm going to connect with my uh, my site here uh, like with the help of uh, file chiller and I'm going to enter that user ID and password so this is a user ID and the password I'm going to copy from here copy I don't want to see even just copy as it is control V okay so it has connected now I want to connect to this connection which we just created and uh, it's actually trying to connect to that specific uh, web page and it is trying to uh, retrieve all the web pages so as you see here you have the web page which is hosting star.html this is a web page which is uh, available on the uh, on, uh, on the site so that's what it's actually loading as this web page so this is a web page which is loading so now I wanted to change that so in normal case if you are the uh, developer uh, you, you don't like to change as it is instead you want to take a backup of everything and you have to consider a lot of things in the back end so with the help of a uh, deployment slots you no need to you know worry about a lot here all you have to do is just go to the deployment slots before you do any kind of changes all you have to do is come back to the deployment slots and take the backup currently if you see here uh, the deployment slot is a uh, traffic is 100 percent allocated so you have an option like you know you can slowly migrate uh, a traffic of five percentage or to the new version of the code and later point you can get the learning of your telemetry data based on or maybe inputs from the end users and see that if the code is completely accurate and it is working as expected then you can increase the size traffic from uh, 10 to 100 something like that you can do it currently it is in a pro, uh, production staging so what I can do is I can simply click on add slots so this is where I'm gonna add a slot and you can even clone this complete site as it is so that you no need to worry about the uh, default site to be no loaded instead you can simply clone and you can give here the name of your uh, slot name in this case I wanted to give as the staging slot one example and click on add so that would take care of cloning as it is and you can do the changes to the uh, production and you can add that code uh, whatever you want to you know, push it or maybe to the production or maybe to the slot one so you have an option here all the way you can play on top of it now the first slot was created and I'm just closing this and this is the first slot I can uh, even redirect the traffic from 50 50 or 100 but before that just uh, let's try to browse this web page how it looks like so I can simply click on it so it looks like a similar uh, kind of an experience that means it's a new web page altogether that's why the URL also changed with the name of our uh, staging uh, slot that we have given in this case like staging hyphen slot one 
and this is what the uh, slot one and uh, the web page also loaded as it is if you see there's no difference let's say your developer has developed and wanted to push to the new stage from the from the production to another stage where the new code will be available so as we talked earlier this is a code from a slot one directory where i have rewritten this html web page as deployment slot one so think that this is a completely new code and you wanted to push it so let's try to push that to our uh, server so i'll just go to the slot one from here and i'll drag and drop so i should see here as a successfully uh, uploaded the status and if i try to browse the same web page by going back here so the production website if i just upload uh, i mean refresh it should actually load with the new content as expected it is uh, loaded with the new content but if you see here my previous one which is a, a stage one it's still loading with the old content that indicates that uh, actually there's a difference between the slot one and slot uh, original production so let's go back to the production and see here and now think that my code is pushed to the production and i wanted to test with uh, test with 100% uh, with the production instead of that I wanted to test at least 80% with the old code and 20% of my traffic with the new code and I can save that so now what happens is randomly the traffic will push between 20 and 80 percentage and 20 percentage would be the new code and 80 percentage on a deployment stage of uh, slot one this is how you can actually use it in case if something goes wrong you can always swap by clicking on here swap so you can just uh, select the source and uh, target let's say this is my source and the target and you can uh, always swap uh, with this and the changes will automatically perform with the uh, with the swap option this is where the deployment slots will come into the picture uh, with your app service plan so we actually we tried with the s1 uh, of the deployment slots so you can go for five stages of that so within this web app i can go ahead and create five more times total and not more than that that's what it's trying to say so in this the pricing and service plans also very important to understand about the advantages so you cannot get this on a uh, free as well as on a shared you can only get it on a production and isolated uh, computing and uh, you should be knowing what kind of you know, staging slots are available on your plan so if it is not supported not more than that five might be if you are looking different stages then you might have to upgrade to a different staging slot like s1 to s2 and you see here you have a uh, five only but if you upgrade to uh, p1 you get more slots here like up to 20 slots you're getting so this is where the app services plans are key and you should be aware of what kind of app service plan that you are running for your web applications and you can point to your app service like uh, here from the apps and you can see how many apps you have currently so if i see here i have total three web applications with one slot so that's what you can check out I hope this entire lecture is useful for you. Make sure that you check out the resource section for different links that are points to the Microsoft documentation. Thank you.